Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is Pastor Pitts from Holy Divine Tabernacle, spreading the love of Jesus one soul at a time. Tonight we're going to talk about, again, what, what a just man is according to the New Testament. And let us pray. Lord Jesus, Master, as we boldly approach that throne, Lord, Lord, we just want to say, bless your word, Lord. Bless your holy word, Lord. Let your word become life in our life, Lord. And please have mercy where mercy can be found. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And what they talking about, a just man. When it says in Proverbs um, 13, 22, it says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children. But what is a good man? A just man is a righteous man. A just man is a man who has stopped all rebellion against God. You just don't want to say it no more. You don't stop all rebellion against God. Every sin is forgiven and the heart of a just man is made holy. A just man is without sin and obedient to God. In a state of justification, there is no condemnation from God because sin and disobedience are gone. The heart and life are made right because of what Christ did for us at Calvary. God sent his only begotten son down here and died for, died for us so that we would have a right to the tree of life. Your righteousness comes from the work of Christ, not from your own human works. The conscience of a just man is free from guilt by the power of a living Christ. Jesus said, if your conscience don't condemn you, neither will I. And we can keep on going around here sinning and, and it don't bother us. Then, hey, 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 listen here. We not condemned. But blessed is that man that fear the Lord. Blessed is that man that do not want to be rebellious against the Lord. The heart and walk and the life of justified believers are in harmony with God through faith in Christ. Faith in Christ gives man access to the grace of God that makes man a new creation and justify the sinner. According to God's workmanship, a justified man is no longer a criminal in the eyes of God unless he commits another crime. You know, when 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 we repent and when we get right with the Lord, we don't we are supposed to be repent offenders again. We in the eyes of the Lord, we not we not criminals anymore unless we go back and keep on sinning again. In justification by grace, the believer's sin and rebellion against God has ceased. A believer is not a lawbreaker. No longer does man violate God's law. The Holy Spirit gives a just man the desire to cease from sin. When we get that Holy Spirit, it will, hey, we don't we cease from sin. The Holy Spirit gives the just man a new nature. A moral change comes over the human soul by the power of God's divine grace, by his grace. What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. A just man was tired of the old life in repentance. Then grace comes in and a just man now has realization that only Christ offered this new and better life. A justified state by God's grace could not be found or attained by any other means known to man outside of Christ. We can't get right. You know, when, when Adam and Eve sinned, <clears throat> God had to send his son down here. Hey, hey, they wanted some blood. They wanted some human blood. And that's why I love that passage. John 3, 16. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. Hallelujah. We need everlasting life. But the only way we're going to get it is through Jesus. Outside of Christ, we can't do nothing. 
We need to become a just man. Some may find it hard to believe, but sin is not essential to the life of a child of God, nor does the Bible condone sin. Holiness of heart is the sacred theme of the Bible and is found in Christ. Holiness is essential to a life of a child of God. Rebellion does not fit into the life of a, of a child of God and separate man from God's grace. Disobedience is not a product of God's grace, but a sin of unbelief. Holiness without. No man shall see the Lord. Holiness without. Hey, listen, when we, if we say we're going to be a child of God, you got to live right. You got to be honest. You got to, you, you, you got to, we got to fear the Lord. Hallelujah. A justified life is the down payment to a life with Christ. After justification, the spirit of God can take full possession of you. When you find forgiveness and true holiness that come from a state of justification by grace, then you can also find deliverance from the life that still wars in your members. Paul said, I desire to do good, but evil is always present. He said, oh, wretched man that I am, who going to deliver me? Jesus. Jesus told Paul, he said, Paul, my blood is sufficient, Paul. Where you weak at, Paul? I can make you strong. Somebody need to let the Lord make them strong. Somebody, you know, when we keep on sinning, we don't have enough word in us. We not spend enough time with the Lord and the devil kicking us in our head and you're going to lose. There is no sin going up in God's kingdom. The dressing room is right down here. Hey, hey, the, and the beginning of wisdom and knowledge is fearing the Lord. The thing is, is, is because we don't fear God and we feel like we can just keep on sinning and getting away with it, getting away I'm telling you, just because ain't nothing happening don't mean it ain't going to happen. God ain't bound by time. He said, I remember the Amalites. When he told Saul to go down there and destroy everything and Saul disobeyed him, you know, God rejected him. Because, you know, we, we can keep on sinning. We can keep on being rebellious. Just keep on, keep on. And then God will turn us over to a reprobated mind. He said, you know what? I'm going to let you go ahead to lead. I'm going to lead you to your own devices. I love in Proverbs 1 and 27 when it talked about, hey, hey, when you, he said, because, because you won't hear me. Because, so when your trouble comes, Jesus said, I'm going to laugh at you. Because the Lord keep telling us, he keep warning us, warning us. But, you know, we just love sin. And a lot of times when we are repeat offenders, we got some underlying sin. We don't need to be a rebellious man. We need to be a righteous man because God already used Jesus for that down payment. He died for our sins. So why should we go back? Hallelujah. Go back into that sin. Hallelujah. We need to get holy. The act of sin, um, uh, but the very root of sin that tries to have dominion in your justified life, God can rid man of this. How? By sanctification that comes from the grace of God. All we got to do is go to the Lord and acknowledge our sin. But a lot of times we want to play with this thing. God keep telling us to get right and we still because in our heart, that's what we want to do. And we don't feel God. God told Adam and Eve, you can eat from everything, but don't touch that, that tree right there. But they listen to Satan. A lot of times we keep listening to Satan. And then... Um, 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 we do the blame game. We, uh, Adam blamed Eve. But no, God put Adam in charge. But Adam let Eve deceive him. And a lot of times, sin is lingering. We can't blame nobody but ourselves. Justification is the down payment of the Spirit's work in salvation. Sanctification is the final work of a Holy Spirit. After justification, this side of heaven... A just man is a man who has stopped all rebellion 
against God. We are. That's the only way that we can become a just man. When we stop sinning against God. When we stop that rebellious, being so rebellious. Every sin is forgiven and the heart of a just man is made holy. A just man is without sin and obedient to God. God is a justifier of men. But when men are justified, they're supposed to walk according to the law of the Spirit in Jesus Christ. A justified man is not a lawbreaker or a violator. A justified man has God-given power to mind the Spirit. When we are when we are a just man, a justified man, a justified man don't want to sin against God. A, a, and, a, and a justified man is obedient to the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus said, my sheep shall hear my voice and a stranger they shall not follow. When we continue to let people are coming out with life and God don't forbid us, then listen, hey, we are unjustified man. We, hey, we not his sheep. We belong more to the devil than we are to Jesus. After all, he done did for us. But Jesus said, if your conscience don't condemn you, neither will I. Hey, if, if it ever been a time, it's time to get right with the Lord. If it's ever been a time, it's time to get right. It's time to get Satan back his tool. Hallelujah. We, we got to stop playing the heart of, under every green tree. And we got to stop uh, uh, ju trying to justify our sin, thinking we can get away with it. Ain't nobody getting away with nothing. Hey, 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 listen. Hey, it's a dangerous thing. To keep sinning against God. It's a dangerous thing. And, and, and call ourselves Christians. And still being deceitful. After all God done did for us. But it's time to be a just man. It's time to get it. Like the Bible says. There is no sin going up in God's kingdom. The dressing room is right here. This is Pastor Pitts. From Holy Divine Tabernacle. Spreading the love of Jesus. One soul at a time. Hey, subscribe me at YouTube at Woman Godify. Uh, hallelujah. Hey, hey, I'm just trying to get that word out. I'm just, I'm just a servant of the Lord. That Jesus said, I came to set the captive free. Somebody can get free tonight. If if you have not given your life to Christ, repent. Get that godly sorrow. Jesus loves you. He said, come as you are, meaning come willing to hear the word of God. And then let the word of God change you. Hallelujah. And accept Jesus as your savior. Somebody should be tired. This world will make you tired. Hey, listen, it's time to really seek the Lord now. It's getting too late in the evening, and the sun is going down. It's time to get right with the Lord. Love you all. Have a blessed one. Amen and amen.